everybody, and welcome to another Kenshi series. Today, we're going to be taking, playing the role of a new hive uh, kingdom, <laughs> a new hive hive. We're going to be forming a new hive, the central hive, a hive to end all hives of hivers free of the hive queen's influence. I'm going to be settling in the center of the map, and I think I'm going to do the five person start because we're going to be limited. We have some limitations on a run. So one, everyone is going to be a hiver. 100% of our squad is going to be hivers. Uh, and to keep things interesting, I also want to limit myself gear-wise to gear I see Hivers using. I'll put an exception clause for the junk that I spawn with, because, you know. We're already going to be starting with pretty much nothing anyways. Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. I, to make things slightly easier, I have installed the Prisoner Recruitment mod. Because I figured it would be fun to do like a series where I have like just an absolute shit ton of recruits. Wait, what? Oh my god, the... <laughs> Excuse me, the Prisoner Recruitment mod is makes shit playable? Well, again, we're gonna... I'm gonna stick with mostly, like, normal stuff. <laughs> it can be a cannibal scav. Interesting. So they just have good cooking, bad farming. That's funny. What does the dead hive get? Just strength minus 20? Hit points 50? Let's see. Well, well, let's ignore... Let's ignore the silly things. I was a little worried the... Prisoner recruitment mod wouldn't work with the reactive world. Obviously, the uh, the prince will be our leader character. Instead of naming him Mr. Torb, he's just going to be called the Central Hive King. Okay, thank you, game. <laughs> Almost fucked that one up. Uh, since I can choose whatever, I think I'm going to have like two soldier drones as my... Uh, like companions, right? One's gonna be short and wide. And obviously like fucking absolutely jacked. And the other will also be big. There we go. They're gonna each have like arms folded. And these guys will be called Elite Hive Guard for now. A and B. I can't believe I've I almost hit the complete button again. So this one's going to be the tall one. Uh, if you guys want to be named after Hivers, or I guess more accurately have Hivers named after you, you can always let me know in the comments, but I decided uh, I would wait until people actually ask. Last time I just like went for names like in the comments in Discord. Here we go, here's the tall one. Then I think the last two... They should be princes, like, uh, <laughs> you know, if I was going for maximal optimalness. I think I'll do some drones. I do plan on naming these drones, for the record, at some point. But for now, they'll be drone A and drone B. So I remember, like, which person's been named and which hasn't. I'm not going to fiddle with their parents. Alright, we're in, uh... Stobes Garden. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, this is such a shitty spawn. Fuck. Well, whatever. You're just gonna have to make it work. Obviously, we're gonna... Might as well use the opportunity to pick up shit. To sell. Because there's no limitations money-wise on how I can make my money. Which is cool. Uh... Unfortunately, this building's not enterable. Yeah, I was a little bit uh, mixed on which which uh, thing I wanted to do, you know, series-wise. Wide, but I figured the previous series, it was a lot of a... Uh, 
it was a lot of doing like hit and run stuff. So I figured uh, it would just be better to not have to do that. You know, just have a run where we can overwhelm our foes with force. And I'll get some armor plating, some leather, and uh, does Drone Guard B have anything? Okay, they, everyone's carrying a little bit. Let's see, I think S Central Hive King. Yeah, I can carry some shit. How heavy are these grind machines? Are they worth anything? They're worth $900? Are you serious? Yeah, I'll take a grind machine. Doesn't work. Look, for my purposes, it works. Oh, man. We're kind of starving, Marvin, but we are all hivers, so... You shouldn't necessarily be, like, uh, too hungry. Might as well just immediately name this, uh... Faction as well. There we go. Why do the dust bandits already hate us? I think I kind of want to just run, make a mad dash for. Uh... Oof, that's a good question. I mean, we could go. Oh no, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Alright, I mean, there's no way that dude's faster than this. He's, it kind of looks like he's faster than this. I think we can go, like, just up, I guess. Because going through this area would just be hell. We can maybe make it to the laser biome and then just fucking... <laughs> right? Just have to kite the sky for miles. None of us are encumbered, so it shouldn't be, like, too bad. The real problem will be if we encounter, like, a beak thing or something. Dude, it feels like I'm playing StarCraft. <laughs> so with these, like, very NPC-ish names. There might be, like, some more lore stuff later anything comes to the dome while I'm editing, recording these things. I think for this playthrough, I'm going to be settling in the Swamplands, as miserable as that sounds, because it's in the center of the map. <laughs> and then that's just 100% the start and stop of it. It'd be fun to do like a drug empire, I think. It's very Hiver-esque, right? Just be, uh, selling, you know, weed, hashish, to the, uh, the peoples, mostly in Flats Lagoon. Maybe I could do some smuggling into the United Cities. That would be pretty badass if I could. You know, it would also be badass. Not having to fucking kite this dude around for fucking 10 million miles. Dude, this guy's so fucking angry. What the fuck, bro? You don't even want us as slaves. We're literally like zero stat andies. Oh, dude, we're only fucking halfway there. Less than halfway there. Oh my god, brother. We're now in the actual shit. Okay, well, I think there's towns up north, so I just need to go this way. <sighs> no way, brother. You've got to be fucking joking. There's some beak thing eggs. Oh, okay. This is really fucking annoying. I think I know what I must do. And as funny as it would be to sacrifice people, I think that we need to do the opposite and we need to fucking death ball up. See, it's called a death ball because it's our fucking death. But that way I'll be able to manage every single person's fucking shit. 
Oh my god, bro. Okay, we lose. <laughs> Fuck! Let's try that again. So I'll go through, I'll remake the characters. I should have just waited till nighttime. But, you know, there's a dude on us. And I'll see you guys in the game. There we go. Much less shitty spawn. Unbelievable. Sometimes the game just has it out for you. Well, I don't necessarily immediately want to head out to the place. You know, the swamp. We need to make money pretty quick, though. Oh, you know what? Why don't we get a... I'm going to immediately get some squads. So this will be the... Uh, Home drones. I'm gonna bring drone A and B into it. And these two are gonna... Why is this guy's chest and stomach mixed up with his buddy? That's weird. These two are gonna just mine copper. That's gonna be their job. And uh, to be honest, <laughs> everyone else is gonna just start mining iron. We're gonna need to build up... Yeah, this is the same copper resource. We're going to need to build up a pool of money, and we're going to need at least our elite drone guards to, you know, live up to their title and be worthy warriors. It'd be nice to do reconnaissance on the Western Hive. The Northern Hive? Western Hive to um, see what weapons that I'll actually have available, because I haven't, like, done any Google research. Oh my god. Uh, hold on. Oh, uh, well, I guess we're just gonna fight these hungry bandits. Fuck it, it's not like we're gonna die. Do I have medkits? I do have medkits. I have drone A. Just, uh... Be my kiting dreamer. Bro, why is he saying Ag? I guess because he's being attacked. Alright, Central Hive King. You need to repair yourself. Don't think anyone's going to die from this. This is supremely stinky, though. How's Drone B doing? He's doing fine. I want to wait for everyone just to be knocked unconscious so that I can lure these guys all to the guards. Oh, nice job, Central Hive King. It's even getting some attacks in there. Alright, Drone A. Please lure these fucking losers. Dude, Central Hive King is going absolutely ballistic. More so than I thought he would be going. He has lost his leg. Are you serious, brother? Well, we can fix that. I guess. Jesus Christ. Bro, Central Hive King. Just fucking asleep for a moment, brother. You definitely... Look, you don't call yourself the Central Hive King without at least a little bit of will to rule, so... It's unsurprising that he'd be willing to risk life and limb. Protect the lads. That being stated, uh, that's going to be a little bit of a setback because that means one less worker at the start. It's got to be really, really embarrassing for the Central Hive King. He just like announces his mission, you know, he finds his squad. <laughs> squad of rejects, you know, of all just, like, freshly breaking free of the control of, like, the Western Hive Queen. And then it's, like, day one, limbless, 
And this is the good timeline. <laughs> oh my god. Is anyone up? No, they're all gonna be comatose. Nice job, drone A. Alright, I'm gonna just immediately start looting iron bars from these guys. Because we're gonna need food money and bed money. And honestly, like we'll be we'll be good on money. Like given a day. We just need to liquidate these assets here. Oh, we're gonna have to do a lot of repairing. Uh, I'll take the superior iron club for myself. So, obviously, I'll buy dried meat. We're almost out of money already. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? It's so ass. I think Gohan is better. Why is this meat so expensive? What the hell? Well, I mean, I need money for beds. I think. Brother. Okay, I guess I'll start getting some rags to sell. Because we're going to need it. Oh, I can afford some Gohan. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna feed the lads. Because we definitely, definitely need food. I'll go and first aid everyone. They'll eventually come out of their coma, which will be nice. And I plan on moving some of them to the Rebel Lair. Poor Center Hive King. I guess in order of importance, I think the drone guards have the most potential for... You know, <laughs> on that, so I want to get them on their feet as quickly as possible. The Central Hive King is going to be unconscious for a while. Honestly, I will get the Garu to come. Oh, no. Well, that's unfortunate. Kind of hoping to get a little bit of cash. Drone B is going to be fine, right? Surely. Or Drone A, I should say. I need to zoom in on the floor so that the healing rate is maximized. Otherwise, we might be in a sticky situation. Yeah, Elite Drone Guard B is going to wake up in time, I think. Okay, what's everyone's toughness? Central Hive King's at toughness 10. The drones are at toughness 5. Alright, please tell me you're not stuck in this fucking rock. Awesome. Need to go first aid drone A. I guess drone A will be the first in the bed, then. The rebel base beds are free. That's cool. Oh, drone B is up. Okay, you can pick up... the central hive king. And then come here. Drone A can go into this bed. Drone guard B put drone A into the bed. There we go. Oh no. Food! Food! Bro, look at us. You think we got food? We're the real starving bandits. That's actually not bad though. So I'll just uh if I can if I can do this properly. I'll be able to lure these guys over to the to the place. Just need to carry the sky for a few miles while being chased by dudes. And they're all staggered. It's just a lot of running. This is is the difference between like a hiver start and a non hiver start. Oh my god, brother. Drone B got a little bit of a love tap on his chest. Come on. Please. Dude, how the fuck are we going to defeat even one of the hives? 
at this rate, we're struggling just to survive. Alright, we're almost there. Almost in the promised land. Just need to get into the building. Please help me. Please help me, good sirs. Okay, I guess we'll fight. You're kind of welcome around here. Get in there, elite drone guard. Might as well help out. Gonna have to do a lot of resting. Nicely done. Alright, you guys can turn your jobs off for now. Because we're not mining shit right now. Get your own B repaired. Alright, the central hive king might as well go into the bed, even though he's gonna be kinda useless for a little while. Parentheses a long while. I don't know if I should resort to stealing or not. Stealing does kinda make the game like super duper easy. But it is also very thematically appropriate for uh, a group of hivers, especially early on. I'd like to manufacture everything. That I'm using. To be honest, I feel like that's also pretty hybrid. Obviously, like the exception being right at the start here. It's like a it's an aspirational goal, not like a hard rule. Oh god, is the bar keep down? What's this guy here? And yeah, the bar keeps in a coma. Great. Oh, well, I guess these guys can go make a trip to make a trip to the uh, bar and rest on the little like camp beds. I think that makes sense to me. All right, elite drone guards, you just gotta get to hub without dying. I believe in you. Elite drone guard A is getting a a fantastic workout, at least. See the strength slowly leveling up. It's similar to the last series, but I think for the start, I want to chill and hub. Use this as a base of operations temporarily. Acquire the power in order to actually move to the swamp, and then we can begin our, uh, our base building stuff. Welcome! I am here to sell, brother. I'm not here to buy. Honestly, I'm fine being completely naked. Uh, we don't have any cash. Can't even buy food. Can, okay, never mind. We could buy cooked vegetables, maybe. That's pretty okay as far as food is concerned. Yeah, I'll buy it. So the drone guards... Wait, did drone guard? Oh no, he ate the entire fucking thing. Uh, well, I guess I do have this body full of rags, so I might as well... See if I can buy any more food. Alright, I could maybe afford... I can't afford a fish. We'll have to wait until he gets some dried meat. Nothing of any value here, Romer. Yeah, brother. Don't worry, I can tell. I'm struggling. Struggling to eke out a living here. Pants are worth $12. We'll just have to make it work. And get like a couple outfits each trip, basically. Alright, we're at 400 bucks. It's pretty good. Honestly, I'll buy another cooked vegetables. And then I think the drone guards are just going to sleep in the camp beds out here. Until they're uh, ready. Ready for uh, more hard labor. We can let time advance. I think that'll do it for me for today. Might be a quicker episode. I don't know how much uh, editing I'm going to have to do for this one. But I figure this is a nice, a nice starter. Nice humble origins for the central hide. 
Honestly, maybe. I think in future Hungry Bandit attacks, I'm gonna just... How do I put this? Uh, hide some of my dudes away. Because having the entire squad incapacitated is just not great. Dude, Drone A is so much faster than Drone B. The hell? Oh yeah, because one of them's starving and the other one's not. I think it'll definitely be helpful. We're going to need to get a limb as well as soon as possible, but I can't buy them from the Western Hive, so I'm just going to have to either purchase a cheap limb or alternatively, and more likely, steal a limb. I would think, though, that... Uh, let's see, how good is... Okay, a, a, a worker drone's good at stealthing, thievering. So, we will actually be able to make it work. Oh, look at that. This drone can uh, feed the other drone. We're getting our first haul of copper now. The elite drone guards are almost healed up as well. I think we've recovered quite nicely from our inopportune start. <laughs> 